The Mass for Inspiration is brought to you in part by the LaSanne Family and Samsung Productions. Good morning. Our Mass today is the last Sunday of Ordinary Time. It is the Solemnity of our Lord Jesus Christ, King of the Universe. How worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and divinity and wisdom and strength and honor. To him belong glory and power forever. In the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. My brothers and sisters, today we conclude the liturgical year and also the Jubilee Year of Mercy. As we begin our celebration today, it would be good to reflect on what our merciful God has done for us. How is our world a better place because of the mercy of God that we have received and shared with our brothers and sisters? And with sorrow now, let us call to mind any past sins. Lord Jesus, you reconciled the world to yourself through the blood of the cross. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ Jesus, your kingdom lasts forever. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Messiah, our King and our God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God, God in the highest, highest and, on and on earth peace, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give, give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, God heavenly King, O oh God, God, Almighty Father, Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten, begotten Son, Lord God, God Lamb, Lamb of God, God Son, Son of the Father, Father you, you take away the sins of the world, world. have mercy on us. us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, whose will is to restore all things in your beloved Son, the King of the universe, grant, we pray, that the whole creation set free from slavery may render your majesty service and ceaselessly proclaim your praise. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Samuel. In those days, all the tribes of Israel came to David in Hebron and said, here we are, your bones and your flesh. In past days, when Saul was our king, it was you who led the Israelites out and brought them back. And the Lord said to you, you shall shepherd my people Israel and shall be commander of Israel. When all the elders of Israel came to David in Hebron, King David made an agreement with them there before the Lord, and they anointed him king of Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoice because they said to me, we will go up to the house of the Lord, and now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem, built as a city with compact unity, to it the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. According to the decree for Israel to give thanks to the name of the Lord, in it are set up judgment seats, seats for the house of David. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, let us give thanks to the Father 
who has made you fit to share in the inheritance of the Holy Ones in light. He delivered us from the power of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him were created all things in heaven and on earth, the visible and the invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he himself might be preeminent. In him all the fullness was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile all things for him, making peace by the blood of his cross, through him, whether those on earth or those in heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the kingdom of our father David that is to come. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. The rulers sneered at Jesus and said, He saved others. Let him save himself. If he is the chosen one, the Christ of God. Even the soldiers jeered at him. As they approached to offer him wine, they called out, if you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. Above him there was an inscription that read, This is the king of the Jews. Now one of the criminals hanging there reviled Jesus, saying, Are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. The other, however, rebuking him, said in reply, Have you no fear of God? for you are subject to the same condemnation. And indeed, we have been condemned justly, for the sentence we receive corresponds to our crimes. But this man has done nothing criminal. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied to him, Amen, I say to you, today you'll be with me in paradise the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Friends, today we celebrate the Feast of Christ the King. And this was a feast which was inaugurated by Pope Pius XI in 1925, because in his words, people had thrust Jesus Christ and his holy law out of their lives. And these had no place in public affairs or politics. Pius XI wisely stated that as long as individuals refused to submit to the will of the Savior, there would really be no helpful prospect of a lasting peace among nations. And this view of Pope Pius XI is equally relevant today. During Jesus' own lifetime, the title King of the Jews belonged to King Herod. Jesus did not claim the title King for himself. In today's Gospel from Luke, we see that this title was even employed by people to mock Jesus. After Jesus' resurrection, Christians tried to show that Jesus was the fulfillment of Jewish expectations 
and began to use the title for Jesus of that of king. They traced Jesus' ancestry back to David, who was regarded as the ideal king. And we know that the infancy gospels of Matthew and Luke provide genealogies which show that through his legal father, Joseph, Jesus is descended from the line of David. Since David was originally a shepherd, we have the title applied to Jesus as well. And this, I think, is more appropriate than the title king. Uh, today's gospel from Luke really illustrates that Jesus' kingship is one of a different kind. Jesus reigns from a bloody cross rather than from a majestic throne. Formerly, the feast of Christ the King, or the solemnity as it is now, was the last Sunday in October. And today it is better placed as the last Sunday of the liturgical year because its themes fit in very well with the approaching Advent season. Advent begins the Sunday after Christ the King. It also, the Feast of Christ the King, that is, reminds us that it's a good time to rededicate our lives to Christ as we conclude one liturgical year and begin another. The title of Son of God, Son of Man, Savior, Teacher, Good Shepherd, Risen Lord, etc., are all more appropriate titles for Jesus than that of King. King was a frequently employed title for God in the Old Testament. And for many centuries, the Jews did not have a king because they thought in doing this, they were detracting from God. And the Jews had three basic conceptions of God as king. They recognized him as king of Israel, of all nations, and finally of all creation. Surprisingly, it is the Franciscan order which popularized the passion of Christ and specifically the Stations of the Cross who were instrumental in establishing the Feast of Christ the King. Franciscan theologians Bonaventure and Duns Scotus disagreed with the great Dominican scholar Thomas Aquinas' conviction that if the first parents would not have sinned, Jesus would not have become man. Bonaventure and Duns Scotus believed that somehow Jesus was incarnate before the first sin, and that only by looking at the incarnate Jesus did God create the first man. Our first reading today was taken from the book of Samuel, and it's more a political than theological statement. The book of Samuel relates that David was the ideal king, the best king of Israel, and the Messiah was expected to be the type of king that David was, and certainly Jesus exceeded this. Today's first reading also pictures David as king and shepherd and stresses his closeness to his people, and certainly uh, Jesus is the good shepherd. So we have David as kind of a prototype for Christ, who is at one with his people and who is their shepherd. The gospel for today from Luke is a bit anticlimactic in comparison to the second reading from Colossians, St. Paul's letter. Yet the kingship of Christ is very clear in our gospel from Luke. We have the inscription on the cross and the appeal of the good thief that illustrates that Jesus is king in the hearts of all believers. Today's gospel also reveals that Jesus' kingship is not an earthly one. Jesus is humiliated rather than glorified. The selection from Colossians is actually the key reading for today. 
It presents Christ as the center of the universe, or as modern theology refers to him as the cosmic king. The phrases employed to describe Christ are all taken from wisdom literature of the Old Testament. And Colossians declares that people are perfected in Christ and then reconciled to God. Today's selection includes, to a large extent, a part of a great Christological hymn that Paul inserts. And the hymn deals with uh, different titles of Jesus as king. And the essence of Christ's kingship is in revealing God the Father to us. Today, Jesus challenges us to consecrate our own lives and the whole universe to God. As we celebrate today, then, the solemnity of Christ the King, let us pray that we may indeed answer the challenge of Jesus, our King and Shepherd. Let us profess our faith now by reciting the Apostles' Creed. I believe, I believe in God, God the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, creator of heaven, heaven and earth, and in and Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born of the Virgin Mary, Mary suffered, suffered under Pontius Pilate, Pilate was, was crucified, died, died and, and was buried. He descended, he descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The Prayer of the Faithful. Today you will be with me in paradise. The good news of Christ the King brings us joy and consolation. Strengthened by God's holy word, we now turn to the Lord for all that we need. For desire to serve one another, David was chosen by God to be the shepherd of the people of Israel. May we be shepherds to one another by the strength of God's love and the depth of our care, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For an awareness of the majesty of Christ, all perfection is found in Christ, who has made peace with God through his death on the cross. May we be comforted by the majesty of Christ as Son of God and Head of the Church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the gift of repentance, like the good thief, may we acknowledge wrongdoing, conscious that the love of Christ will overcome all fear and sin and lead us to the promised paradise, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For an understanding of the reign of Christ, may we be constant in living as servants of Jesus and by the values we profess, help bring about God's reign in our world and wholeness to all its people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the living and deceased members of all our families, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. God of love, we honor Jesus as our ruler. Help us to be his good servants and faithful to his teaching. We ask this as we always do, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given, and human hands are made will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be, God be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share 
in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquities. Cleanse me from my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our mighty Father. May the may Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands, hands for the praise, praise and glory of his name, name for, for our good, good and the good of all his holy, his holy church. church. As we offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice by which the human race is reconciled to you, we humbly pray that your Son himself may bestow on all nations the gifts of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift, lift them, them up, up to, the, to Lord. the Lord. Let us give thanks now to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. And just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you anointed your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, with the oil of gladness as eternal priest and King of all creation, so that by offering himself on the altar of the cross as a spotless sacrifice to bring us peace, he might accomplish the mysteries of human redemption and making all created things subject to his rule, he might present to the immensity of your majesty an eternal and universal kingdom, a kingdom of truth and life, a kingdom of holiness and peace, a kingdom of justice, love and peace. And so now with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the host and power of heaven, we Sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven, and, heaven earth and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in, the in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew falls, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord. Jesus Christ, at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray. From every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we always may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and, mercy, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer some sign of peace to one another. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy, you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. communion anaphon the Lord sits as king forever the Lord will bless his people with peace Having received the food of immortality, we ask, O Lord, the glorying and obedience to the commands of Christ, the King of the universe, we may live with him eternally in his heavenly kingdom, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The Master Inspiration is brought to you in part by the LaSanne Family and Samsung Productions.